there are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories. Hi, I'm Millie and I love playing football. I started playing football when I was nine years old and it's brought me so much happiness in my life. My favourite thing about football is playing in a team. Me and my teammates all have different things we are good at and when we put them together, great things can happen. Tonight's CBeebies Bedtime Story is all about a star footballer called Sammy. Sammy loves playing football, but she worries that she doesn't kick the ball in the same way as everybody else. It's called Sammy Stryker and the Football Cup, written by Catherine Emmett with illustrations by Joe Berger. But before I get started, you can watch more CBeebies Bedtime Stories on BBC iPlayer. Wow. When young Sammy Stryker first started to crawl, her great-grandpa Minto bought Sammy a ball. <laughs> the little girl clapped and she squealed with delight. <laughs> then cuddled it tight in her bed every night. The ball would go everywhere that she would go. Come rain or come shine or come sleet or come snow. It went to the shops and it went to the zoo. It went in the bathtub and even the loo. As Sammy grew older, she played in the park and only went home when the pitch grew too dark. But one day she went there with Evie and Mitch and Evie gasped, oh, who is that next to the pitch? Oh, wow, exclaimed Mitch. That's Melissa McDream. She coaches the country's new under eights team. They started to play. Sammy showed off her speed, then heard someone shout. That's the kid that I need. The woman rushed over. Hey kid, what's your name? Your passing was ace as you played in that game. They call me the boss and you are now on my team. You'll win us the cup, you'll be living the dream. From that moment on, Sammy's life was a blur. The photos, the signings, private chauffeur. They gave her a shirt with her very own name, then sent her for practice before her first game. It started off well, she was pacey and fast. She dazzled defenders, then quickly ran past. But though she could dribble with awesome control, it all fell apart when she aimed for the goal. Compared to the park where she'd first learned to play, the goal on this pitch was much further away. She'd kick for the goal, but each time that she tried, the ball would instead curve away to the side. Poor Sammy turned red and she started to sweat. The rest of the team got their shots in the net. Don't worry, the boss said, just have one more try. So poor Sammy nodded and tried not to cry. As match day drew nearer, she felt rather sick. I have to work out how to fix my curved kick. The whole day before Sammy's very first game, she tried and she tried, but her kick stayed the same. She went up to bed feeling horribly glum and cuddled her ball but the sleep wouldn't come. <laughs> On match day, young Sammy's small heart gave a wrench to see she was listed to sit on the bench. The cup game kicked off and the players were tense. The teams were well matched in attack and defense, but after a tackle, Seb crashed to the ground and all of the team came gathered around. Bring him off, the boss yelled. And Sammy, warm up. I need you to go on and win us the cup. I can't, stuttered Sammy. My shots are all curved. I've not scored a goal because my shots have all swerved. The boss took her shoulders and stood Sammy square and gave her a serious, kind-hearted stare. If you want to play and be one of the best, then don't try and do things like all of the rest. I've got a whole team who can kick straight and true but only one player can bend it like you. Then young Sammy nodded, all swelled up inside and ran on the pitch with a new sense of pride. She called for the ball and she suddenly knew just how to embrace the strange kick she could do. She glanced at the goal and adjusted her stride, but this time she aimed far away to the side. The ball flew like lightning with awesome control and curved round the keeper, 
for Sammy's first goal. The team's newest striker scored four times that game and grinned as the crowd started chanting her name. When full time was called, her team hoisted her up for Sammy's curved kick had just won them the cup. The boss had been right and now Sammy agreed. It's what makes you different that helps you succeed. Well done, Sammy. Sammy stuck to what made her unique and she didn't give up. She wasn't afraid to listen to her heart and it helped her score goal after goal. What makes you unique? Whatever it is, I think it must be wonderful. People have said, I dream too big. I say they think too small. So why not have some big dreams of your own when you go to sleep tonight? Because it's bedtime now. Sleep well, night night. There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories.